Are you ready for some great sheet pan meals? Well, come along with me and I'll show you what sheet pan meals I made for my family this week. Hello family and friends, I'm Susan and welcome to my home. Are you ready for some great sheet pan meals? Well, come on along with me. I have got three great sheet pan meals. I have got you a breakfast, a lunch, and a dessert, all cooked on a sheet pan. This is in collab with Sammy from Managing the Maze. And please go check out her channel and the playlist. Lots of great sheet pan meals for you to try for your family. First up, we are gonna be having a breakfast pizza. Very simple and extremely good. So let me get my ponytail up. And let's get to cooking. And we're gonna make a sheet pan breakfast pizza today for breakfast. I'm gonna need some red bell pepper, some onion, one pizza crust, some pork sausage, cheddar cheese, a little bit of milk, some hash browns, and four eggs. I'm only doing half the recipe because it's just Danny and I. So let's get started. I have the dough basically um, put over the pan. It's like I said, we're doing half of a sheet pan, so this is half. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the sausage over top of it. This is four sausage rounds that are already pre-baked. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is put in the rounds, which I'm using about half a cup. Calls for a whole cup. Just using half a cup. I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. Not gonna get a whole bunch of them. And I think that's good. I'm going to sprinkle on the onions now. All right, and a little bit of red bell pepper. Now, put some cheddar cheese over top of this. Not a lot, just a little bit. And it calls for the cheddar cheese underneath the egg mixture, so okay. That's the way I'm doing it. And here's the egg mixture, four eggs and two tablespoons of milk. And I'm gonna pour this over top. Try to get it well spread out. And this is gonna go in the oven once it hits 375 for eight to 10 minutes. And here it is, it just came out of the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and get it sliced up and on a plate and that way we can eat. Sheet pan breakfast pizza. It's looking pretty good. All it needs is a little salt and pepper on it. And now it's ready to go out and have Danny eat it. Now I'm just gonna pick mine up and take a bite. Mmm. That's a pretty good. I was skeptical, but that ain't bad. Okay, that's what's for breakfast. Sheep pan breakfast pizza. And it's pretty good, guys. And that breakfast pizza, it was so good. Y'all have got to try that. The next thing I'm gonna be making is a sheep pan meatloaf. It's not just your average meatloaf, it's cheese stuffed meatloaf with some beans and some potatoes. And I love that meatloaf. I'm sure it's gonna taste even better in little bitty meatloafs. So come on along. Let's get started on some sheet pan meatloafs. And today we're gonna to be making some sheet pan meatloaf bites with mozzarella stuffed inside and some potatoes and green beans. I've got everything laid out here. I've got the green beans. I've already rinsed them off. They're ready to be incorporated. I've got the potatoes, one pound of red potatoes that I've cut uh, basically in half and then cut the halves in the fourth so they'll be easy to eat. I've got some uh, beef bouillon, some onions, cornbread stuffing, onion soup mix, ketchup, two eggs, and about two pounds of hamburger meat. Now I'm going to make this my recipe. I know that the recipe I'm using is uh, based off a different recipe and I like mine best. So we're going to be going at this and getting all this mixed together. So come along with me while we make a sheet pan meal of um, cheese stuffed meatloaf, potatoes, and green beans. I already have my sheet pan lined with aluminum foil and I've already got it sprayed. That way nothing will stick. And I'm going to go over here and get the vegetables ready. Okay, and in a large bowl, I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes and the green beans. Go ahead and grind some salt on this and grind some pepper. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of olive oil 
on this and I'm going to mix this all together. That way the olive oil gets on every piece and the salt and pepper gets well distributed. And then I'm gonna spread them out on the sheet pan evenly. I'm gonna have to leave a little area for the meatloaves to go, so I'm just basically gonna put the meatloaves in the middle and put the green beans and the potatoes on the edges. So now that's ready. I've got almost two pounds of hamburger meat right here. I'm going to put in one sleeve of Lipton onion soup mix. I'm going to put in one box of cornbread stuffing mix. A teaspoon of beef bouillon base. Just gives it a little extra flavor. About three tablespoons of ketchup. That should be about right. I've sauteed my half a cup of onions just to get the sweet taste out on them. Now they're a little bit warm. I've got to let them cool down before I put the eggs in. And then we'll be just about ready to put everything in the oven and start cooking. I've mixed up all of the meatloaf mix except for the two eggs. I'm going to go ahead and add them in now. And get those mixed in. And I have nine of the mini meatloafs I've already made. And what I'm going to do is punch a hole in the middle, stick the cheese down in the hole, and then I have to cover the cheese up so it won't come out the sides. I just got to make sure that it is not showing. These kind of look like little footballs. But now they're ready to go on the sheet pan. And here we go. All of the meatloafs that are running this way have cheese in them. The ones that are running this way do not have cheese in them because Danny didn't want cheese in his. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. I will check it at 25 to see how we are. The only thing we need to look for is to make sure that the meatloaves are done. So I'll give that a check in about 25 minutes. And here it is, 25 minutes later. I've checked the internal temperature of all the meatloaves and they are 160. So they are completely done. The green beans look good. The potatoes look like they're good. So it's time to eat. And here we go, meatloaves potatoes, and green beans. That's what's for supper tonight. And here's what the inside of one of the little meatloafs with the cheese looks like. That's a cheese pull going on. And that is so good. And it's time for dessert. And tonight I'm going to be making a sheet pan dessert called Mixed Berry Pie Bites. Simple and easy, just a few ingredients, and you make it all in a sheet pan. So let's get started on making something sweet to eat tonight for dessert. And we're gonna be making some mixed berry pie bites. All you need are two nine inch pie crusts, a bag of mixed medley ber berries or berries of your choice, 16 ounces. It needs to be at least 12 ounces. So I'm not gonna use all of this, but I'm gonna use most of it. One jar a blackberry preserves, some cornstarch, one egg well beaten, and some sugar. And that's basically all you need for this. So let's get started making some mixed berry pie bites. And I have the oven on 400 degrees and I am going to unroll two of the pie crusts. And if they're a little bit hard to unroll, you might want to let them set out and deep uh, and uh, Thaw out just a little bit so they'll be easier to roll out. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there. Now what I'm going to do is cut each of these pie crusts in half. Here's one. And here's two. Just like any other pie crust, if it breaks, you just mush it back together. And I'm going to cut it in half also. Now I'm going to take the actual crust, I'm going to lay it like this, one on each side, so you want the middles to be touching, like that, and then you want to put the top right here, and this right here, and just push it all down. It's time to start the next phase. And I've got the jelly, or the preserves, out of the jar, and I've microwaved it for about 30 seconds right now, until it's a little bit warm. And now I'm gonna add 12 ounces of frozen berries into the jelly. 
and stir it around. Probably should have used a bigger dish, but I wanted something that would be easy to clean. Now I'm gonna add one fourth cup of sugar into the mix. Not one fourth, excuse me, one half cup sugar. Go ahead and mix that up real good. Now the next thing I need to add in is two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. And now that that's well mixed, let's prep the pie dough. And I have scored the bottom pie sheets. Um, it's supposed to be two by two inch rec uh, squares. Well, you know, it's, it's close. <laughs> now I'm gonna be putting in some of the pie filling and I'm just using a scoop and putting it in the middle of each one. All right, and there's what I'm at right now. Now let me start the next process. I'm gonna take the egg and I'm gonna place it on the score line or at least whitewash it on the line of each one of these. That way it'll seal up whenever I put the top sheet on. Now I've got all of them, if you can tell. I've got the egg dispersed and, and did around all of the edges. Now I'm going to put the other pie shell on. Let's see if I can get this centered up here. Now there we go. Now I'm going to go around here. Do all the edges. And press in between each one. Let me see, I'm gonna try to squirt to kind of line up with the bottom score as much as I can. It says to score the top of each of these with a icing tip. I don't have an icing tip. So I am just going to make a few, four little spots in each one. That way it'll release some air. Some of them doesn't need an air release like that one. That way it'll release the air as it's cooking. I don't know if you can see, but there are little cuts on the tops of all of them. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put some more of this egg wash all over the top. Which some of them got a little bit of jelly in it, but that's okay. All right. And it says to sprinkle with a little bit of sugar on top. I'm just gonna use my hand and just a little bit of sugar on the top of it. There we go. And it says bake for 25 to 30 minutes. So let's get this in the oven. The, the oven has been heating at 400. It's preheated already for 25 minutes and we'll see what it looks like. And 25 minutes later, here you go. Mixed berry mini pie bites. They are hot. They are uh, not flaky per se, like a pie crust, but they're like pie dough. And I've got to let them cool off before we can eat some, so I'll let you know what they taste like here in a little bit. And here is what the little pies look like on the inside. I could have put more filling on the inside because they, they need more sweetness. And I should have put a lot more filling. Didn't realize it. But this is really good. I've got extra filling. Danny had his and put a bunch on top of it. And that's what he's eating right now. So, easy, simple, mini bites. you got to try them. I hope you enjoyed today's sheet pan recipes. I will link Sammy's channel and the playlist below so you can hop on over to her channel and the playlist and get lots of great sheet pan recipes. Until next time, have a great week. Don't forget to click that link below and subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. And let our family be a part of your family.